Hello everyone, my name is uh, Spitfire, and this is DWK Totally Legit Recaps, uh, episodes 18, 19, and 20. Uh, Darren Dunn, ain't the, main thing, ain't the main thing about you, and the health of information. Darren Dunn, it's a good episode. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, Darren do it's fun. Wants to enter, you know, wants to enter a career, but decides not to. Fun. Ain't the main thing about you. Again. Favorite episode. Um, great episode. Love it. Uh, for that reason. Um, and health and information. Two odd characters doing stuff. It's a good episode. Don't think it's a favorite of mine, but it was a fun episode. And without that, let's get into the uh, get into these uh, videos. Jesus Christ, Play. are you guys still Here watching these things? Of course, they're fucking great. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know the great. drill, we're in the pony place, doing the pony thing, and this the guy's pony like... Morning, Pinkie Pie. Get your pony bill chronicle right here. All right, wait. Maybe this is like a perspective issue I'm having trouble with, but this guy is tiny. His windpipe's probably the size of a cocktail straw, and his voice should be yeah. higher. Let, let me, hold on. Let me fix this. Oh no! Oh no! That sounds about right. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm drunk. I'm a little bit drunk. Anyway, we're hanging out on a sense, bench yeah. that you shouldn't spend too long trying to figure out and Pong's all, oh, hey, look, AK, you're <laughs> yeah. like, finally quit writing. What do you know? And Dashie's like, all right, Pinky, time to go smack some sense into this bitch. Uh, maybe you could just, like, write her a letter first? Bro, why would the creator yeah. of my favorite franchise publicly write announce that she was retiring unless I'm supposed to go straight to her house and talk her out of it? This is setting a Probably really not. bad example for every possible audience of this show. So they enter the cottage steeped in a musk of it's... liquor, sweat, and melancholy, and Dash is all, dude, you can't stop writing books. The entire Daring Do fandom will collapse. You mean the fandom that makes those sex pillows of me? Actually, they're called Ducky yeah. Makaras. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying. Just so you know. You own one of those, Dash. I mean, I only own it Probably ironically not. and snuggle it sarcastically. And what? Hump it facetiously? We can leave at any time, by the way. Hey, man, this is better than being alone. No offense, dude, but you must really suck at being alone. Anyway, AK's depressed because a bunch of people in some town here alone. for breaking their shit on our adventures, and Dash is like, dude, you just gotta get your confidence back by hearing how much people like you. I mean, you guys like me. Makes Come sense. on, let's go find some people. Bro, what's going on? You like Daring Do, right? Nah, she's a fucking cunt. <laughs> God damn it, why didn't this fucking work? Maybe we shouldn't have taken someone who's clearly in a fragile emotional state to the place where she just told us everyone's already pissed off at her. Why didn't you say something yeah. earlier? Look, Dashi, I love hanging out with you and everything, and we seem to get paired off a lot, but no matter how many times it happens, I'm never gonna get used to having to be the smart one. Oh, so hey, it's, Great, uh, yes. what's his name? Um, Dr. Candelabra? Guys, he's right there. <laughs> Guys, yes. It's, it's the dude. Yes. No, nobody. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I guess emotions are just running that high right now. So, AK the cracking thing, thing where if you just change anything, they'll be a pursuit and dash is um, like. You can same thing. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Run that back well, one so more time. Which is already makes sense. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> This has sexual imagery in it. Anyway, they get on in, they get on in, where they find AK five deep and crying into an empty mug. And okay, come on, there is no excuse this time, guys. He's standing on a table in the middle of the room, flapping his cock holster, and you're looking right at him. AK, dude, it's fucking yeah. Dr. Caramello, your arch nemesis. <laughs> Are you that Great. fucking smashed right now that you can't recognize him? And Dash, what's your excuse? I know I give you a lot of shit, but you're not actually retarded. There is a catastrophic failure of brain function occurring right now on Great. both your parts, and I'm just trying to think. Oh, Great. Jesus fucking Christ, don't tell me it's the hood. Are you having a giggle, mate? Are you seriously telling me that even though you can hear him speaking and see half yeah, his face, you guys don't have the slightest inkling as to who it might be because there's a piece of cloth over the top of his head? Wait, 
I get it. I've seen this before. The exact same thing happens in the episode right after this one when Rarity's hair gets messed up. There's a scene where she puts on a hood to cover it up and nobody in Ponyville has a fucking clue who she is. This explains it. Ponies, like suburban teenagers Great. who listen to too much rap and start wearing baggy clothes and flashing gang signs, have hood autism. So, Callie Beerbong's getting what? everyone riled up over the statue that Daring do <laughs> bro. See, a long <laughs> time ago, this, this chick with some really wicked fashion sense named Somnambula smashed a giant puss and then walked in a straight line. And that gave everyone hope that they could smash some puss too and then pass a field sobriety test if they got Great. pulled over on the way home. From then on, the villagers would hang strings of bro pals on the statue every year to congratulate their homegirl and keep that hope alive or whatever so dash tries to explain to everyone that daring do only broke the statue when she was curb stomping Ali Zodal for forcing phillies to rectally smuggle MacGuffins into yak yakistan but they're not hearing it they all fuck what? off and it looks like ak is finally broken i can't believe it you won copacabana you got the shit locked down what could you even <laughs> do to fuck this up Everything. Oh yeah, no, I guess you could take off the inexplicable disguise which has somehow worked perfectly up until now while Daring Do is still standing right over there, exposit your entire plan and Great, give yeah. a reason to chase after you by capturing your best friend. That would fuck it up, yeah. Also, yeah, that's right. Apparently, Dash is her best friend, even though they've only met twice before this. So, Cabaret hard on ties yeah. Dash to a giant rod and tries to dip her in goo, and Daring's like, ah, well, so we're fucked. Yet. Nah, dude, just jump, some Don't shit remember. will happen and we'll be fine, trust me. Holy fuck, bro, how'd you know? Oh, I've done the same scene before, uh, season one, episode 15. <laughs> Almost the same timestamp, too. All right, so they get back to the place, yeah. and she's like, hey, look, he stole your shit. That's worse than what I did. And these fools are like, oh, yeah, you're cool. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. So everyone's mad at dude here instead. Daring dude drops he's some great. cash to fix the shit she broke. Everything's copacetic, and she's all, guys, I learned something today. What's that, daring dude? The importance of good PR daring tactics. Dude. If you fuck something up and be People get mad at you, you can explain yourself all you want and it won't do any good, but throw some money their way and find someone else yeah. for them to direct yeah. their anger at and boom, you're in the clear. You just gotta not give up hope that people are easy to manipulate. I think Somnambula would be proud, dude. Also, I realize that I'm horribly, horribly lonely. I mean, you're my best friend, Dash, and I only see you like once a year. I probably would yeah. have had such a huge it's pretty sporadic. breakdown over this whole thing if I had somebody to talk to, but I'm just so it's isolated, sporadic. and I was hoping we could, like, hang out more often, you know, just grab hang out with you. I'll hang out with you, Daring Dude. Well, good seeing you, man. You should use this in your next book. Catch you later. Yeah, see ya. Yeah. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Yeah, well, that's doing that. Next episode. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Set of pure, oh, no. adoring, romantic thoughts. Yeah. That kind of like punk rock kind of look for her is great. I love it. I think one of my favorite already okay. looks. This looks great. So. It's a lovely that day in Ponyville and literally that fucking everyone is trying to buy some flowers and Filthy's like... <laughs> looks like I'm not the only one who left Mayor's Day to the last minute. Alright, hold on a second. So what does Mayor's Day entail exactly? Obviously in the There's real world we have Mother's the mayor, Day probably. for moms and Valentine's Day for wives and girlfriends, but each of us only has one mom and obviously nobody in this fandom has to worry about wives or girlfriends, so that's all very reasonable. But yeah, based on great, the name and this clusterfuck going on here, it seems like this Mayor's Day requires everybody to get every chick they know. Oh, what's that kind of thing? Anyway, I literally don't give a shit about any of that stuff I just said because right then Rarity shows up looking just mwah, as usual and she's like, darling, familia, everybody yeah. chill out. I'm gonna let you know a little secret. Bitches get 
wet for complimentary colors. The fashion horse is rolling around town making some very important preparations for upcoming spread in yeah. Equestria's premier mare's hair care magazine. Does it, man? However, she's never too busy to help folks out with the little yeah. business structure and marketing advice and not to suck her off too hard, but you gotta admit, she is qualified to do so. Anyway, she handles the situation with yes, the Flower Sisters, is. hooks up these guys, and then goes to see everyone's favorite sugar-tarted living ball of cotton candy. Yeah, she pump. goes over so the you know that stupid and myth that says if you see enough times in a row, you have an orgasm? Well, apparently for Pinky, it's true, what? because she's like... And coats the entire room in super sticky celebration string. And we're just like, God damn it, <laughs> oh, no. Pinky, you never aim for a girl's hair. And Pops will, dude, I'm sorry, I got caught up in the moment. I don't care if you're about to bust a nut the size of Manhattan. That's just oh, no. basic etiquette, man. Listen, spooky eyes, why don't you take a picture? It will last longer. Anyway, they mob up in Zakora's place and rare souls are going up. Pinky spooched oh, no. in my hair. Oh, and no. Cecil, bro, you never aim for a girl's hair. That's just basic etiquette. I got caught up <laughs> in the moment. Please fix it, please. Yeah, yeah, cool your jets. Fucking ponies, man. Nobody gives a shit about the zebra till you need some potions or whatever, and then I'm your best fucking yeah. friend. Zakora, give me a fucking break. The potions are the same color, and you put them in two identical bottles with no differentiating markings i'm not saying you need to slap some fda yeah. labels on there but could you provide literally any indication as to which one is which it, it just seems like this might be inviting a uh a mishap of some sort uh hey rare yeah there's a mishap right there uh, jumbled up there don't you want to just make sure that nope okay hey zakora how about you take a look and just check that no oh, pinky i don't suppose you want to help me out here no oh nope uh, nobody no. all right hold on just a sec i gotta prepare for this I figured it up for You're like coming up. <sighs> Great. Oh. Okay, now I'm ready. My name feels lighter already. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, either yeah. Rarity took the wrong bottle or Zakora really needs to start designing sulfate-free products. Still, Waifu Horse tries to get her shit done anyway, and she's like, Hey, Rose Luck, I uh, just came to grab those. Bitch, who the fuck are you? Yo, hey, Davenport, I just need to uh, pick up that sofa. I'll give you twice whatever the pony who wants to buy the yellow one is paying. Soul. And she's like, holy balls, man. Is everyone just nice to me because I'm loud and hot? I thought people liked me because I helped them wow. shit, but I yeah. wear a hood and talk all quiet, and these people I've known for years don't even recognize me. And Gloomy's like, hey, man, to be fair, being yeah. loud and hot goes a long way. And Twiggy's all, now, Rarity, you can Great, make up for that. any deficit in your appearance by having self-esteem and confidence. Nigga, I made a little kid cry with this shit. You can't just pretend this is some kind of attitude issue. Anyway, Rarity's all, guys, yeah. can you make me hair is kind of magic? fucked up. And, it, and they're like, dude, mm -hmm. there's literally no way that'll work. And she's like, sure, can they can. Try anyway. So it doesn't work. But then Zakora's like, hey, man, good news. Your hair's just going to grow back normally. So a lot of you might be thinking, hey, problem solved, right? I mean, yeah, I won't be back in time for the magazine thing, but at least it will be back. So count your blessings, right? Yeah. All she has to do is wait a yeah. couple months. So true, why is true. she still so busted up about it? Well, I'll tell you why. Rarity's mane is more than just hair. It's her big, glorious, throbbing, yeah, well her... manicured lady cock. It's her pride and joy, and it's obviously wow. a very important factor in not only how she perceives herself, but how a lot of other folks but how, do yeah, too. How like, people okay, imagine her. if your dick was on the top of your head, right? And you walked <laughs> around proudly brandishing <laughs> and flaunting it, basing Stop. so much yourself Please. image off of its majesty, and then one day it just got hacked the fuck off. And not only were you reeling from the loss on a personal level, but then these fuckers who were always nice to you before started ignoring you or treating you like shit, you'd be like, holy fuck, they only liked me because I had a giant dick on my head. And then to top it all off, you couldn't yes. do your big photo shoot for down. Dickhead Magazine? If it were me, I'd be fucking emotionally devastated. That's yeah. why it's important. Anyway, Rarity gets out of the press, freebases a shitload I of guess cocaine, you do that. and locks herself in Is the house for vibe. Vodka and ice cream. Don't week, think which it speaking really from experience, seems right. like a great way to deal great. with despair until about 24 hours in when you start shooting liquid fire out your asshole. If you ingest nothing but liquor and Hagen dazs for a couple of days, it doesn't matter how cold it is going in, it's hot coming out. And twice all. Unlike your hair, confidence is something you can get 
Let me guess, I just have to feel beautiful and special on the inside. No. Yes. Say something else. Iglamy's like, how about just fucking those guys up? It's what I would do. See, now that I could try. Check it out, sluts, punk, rock. So, Filthy Rich is like, yeah. it's my own fault. Not stripping fucking flowers without asking spoil what she likes. And Rarity's like, Hi. You do? Yeah, divorce her. Also, fuck you, Roselock. So she tells Rose to eat her ass, tells <laughs> right. fan guy to blow her, and breaks Davenport's legs. And AJ's like, well, if you wanted to shine from the inside out, I think this afternoon you became the brightest Billy in a question. Dude, what? You know, like, you're beautiful on the outside as long as you feel beautiful on the inside. Uh, yeah, no, that's yes. fucking bullshit. The reason right. I still look good is because I kick ass in fashion design, so I was able to fix my hair and because I had you guys here to help me pull my head out of my ass. Shit worked out for me because I'm talented and I've got close friends, not because of some vague new age feel-good mumbo-jumbo. That's the big hideous yeah. line of bullshit this whole self-esteem movement has sold us. That we're all beautiful, unique flowers and we're entitled to feel proud of ourselves just for being alive. That's asinine. Self-confidence comes from handling life, not the other way around. You gotta I, put I, the I can effort agree with to that. not only I can, be I can good I can at shit, but to surround yourself with good people and not worry about the shitty ones. That way when life bends you over and fucks you in the ass, you'll have skills to help you get through it and homies to get your back. Wow, I guess that makes a lot more sense than just saying you're great as long as you feel great. Although, considering you just bashed a guy in the shins, it kind of undercuts the poignancy a little. Whatever, nobody's perfect. It's, a, a, it's yeah. part of the lesson. Self-actualization, healthy relationships, and sometimes breaking people's legs. Breaking people's legs can help. Mm -hmm. Oh. Great. Welcome back, my friend. You claim to be right. player, Last I'm episode. We bust some bad boys, niggas fuck for life. Oh, you're riding again. <laughs> great. <laughs> Too great. Alright, so, Nutter Butter and Zakora are hanging out in the swamp gathering up some bog weed for yeah, they a party this weekend, and Z Dog is like, check it out, dude. I think we're in luck. This shit's gonna get our friends high as all. Man, don't take this the wrong way, but I've always wanted to ask you, like, what's uh, with the rhyming thing? Does it just when you talk, or do oh. zebras, like, write legal documents in verse? Alright, look, can you keep a secret? Yeah, of course. It's not a cultural custom. I just have really bad OCD. Oh, well, fuck me. I actually never oh, would have guessed. Right. Why do you think I moved out here? Now, let's head home. I could use a cold bi- Fuck! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Uh, I don't know if I could provide that for you. Anyways, Akora falls into the swamp and All goes right. to an underwater hair salon, but when she gets back, something isn't right, yeah. so Butterball takes her to the doctor, and the doctor's like, oh, it's just as I thought. I'm afraid you have a very rare disease called swamp aid. What the hell is Swamp Aids? <laughs> swamp well, it's Aids. A form of plot feed. Swamp like that Aids. Thing Starlight and Trixie get sometimes where they spend all night in that wagon and they smell like seafood <laughs> the next morning. No, I mean a serious but previously unmentioned illness that appears for the first time on a Saturday. Look, basically you're going to be an agonizing pain <laughs> for about a week and then turn into a tree. And Z's like, Is there anything that can be done? For such a terrible conundrum. Sakura, that was not a rhyme. That was terrible. Normally, yeah. I'm totally willing to overlook imperfect rhymes. But yeah, God, you're putting a one-syllable word up against a three-syllable word, which sounds clunky in the first place, unless the shorter word is preceded what by is one that sync with sounds in the longer one. And the supposed the matching syllables aren't even an actual rhyme. Look, look, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but Zebra, please, let's yeah, well, just fucking that? work. Anyway, the doc's all, nope, sorry, there's no cure. Have fun dying, peace. And Sakura's like, man, what a douche. Have fun dying. so sick, I'd sneak Peace. in his house and cut off his... Oh my god, dude, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault for dragging you out to that fucking swamp. I'll stay with you until the end, bro. I'll make sure you aren't in pain. And look, I know you don't want to be a fucking tree, man. I wouldn't want to be a tree. So when the time comes, I'll... You, you want to be a tree? Take care of you. I promise it'll be quick and it won't hurt. Actually, there's this one chick who can fix my shit. You just gotta find her. Oh, oh, okay. That sounds a lot more, uh... Friendly. Okay, question. Does nobody yeah. care about Sakura? I mean, just 
Doctor doesn't give a fuck. Spike it doesn't give a shit. Now Butternut and Twy have to go through all these books to figure out where this healer chick is. So why is nobody yeah. helping them? Why aren't the rest of the girls here? Why isn't AB helping? You'd think she'd want to save her potions teacher from turning into a freaking sycamore. Yeah, Zakora is a weird voodoo lady who lives yeah. out in the woods, but up until now it's been pretty apparent that she is a well liked member of this community. So why does nobody but Fluttershy care that she right. dies? So Shutterblush stays up all night I think doing all right come out of her because apparently Princess Tree House unless she needs beauty sleep and, and she, she discovers that the chick they one. need to talk to is Mage She comes out Meadowbrook. to buy shit and, and goes back there. If you who the fuck is Mage Meadowbrook, then congratulations. You probably have other things going on in your life than watching My Little Pony. However, those of us who are not so fortunate yeah. will recall our first encounter uh, with old Glimmy Glam back here during her naughty phase when she claimed that her staff of sameness was one of Mage Meadowbrook's nine enchanted items. So Butters is like, yo, man, get up and shake off that meme face. We gotta go find this chick. And Twy's all, <laughs> that meme Shai, face. You haven't slept, and that's a long journey. And Shai's all, dude, considering Zakora's situation, I don't really give a shit, and I don't get why you do. And Twy's like, can we at least grab some breakfast? Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Bruh, I'm hungry. No breakfast. Oh this is because she's a zebra, isn't it? Whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ, man, I just need a sandwich. It'll take like five minutes. So they stop to see Zakora before taking off, and she's all... While you're gone, Richard, I'll try not to be hurt. And Shai's like... Great. Right. And I'm like, dude, that's a better fucking rhyme than done and conundrum. Journey and word read <laughs> at least have the same number of syllables and the vowel sounds match when pronounced. Am I fucking crazy here? Yeah. This is just like nobody else cares if this cartoon zebra makes these lame sounding rhymes and it only bothers me because I'm an autistic piece of shit who obsesses over every minute detail of this. Yeah, okay, no, that's the reason. Right, so they go to hit up Meadowbrook in this <laughs> sketchy so fucking yeah, town in Pony, Louisiana, and they find this treehouse and Twiggy's all, man, we need to figure this shit out and bounce. This is the kind of place where they cut off all your limbs, cauterize the stumps, wrap you in leather, and use you as a public scooge repository. Where do you even get an idea like that? What? Sometimes when I get too drunk, I look through Spike's hentai collection. He's into weird shit. Yeah, well, we all do weird things when we're fucked up. It's not like he actually we're enjoy all, it. We're all on the weird shit, man. about being strapped down that and happens. violated by a whole town full of hairy, monstrously endowed rednecks, right? No, no, good thing that's not. What's up, bitches? I heard someone talking about me. So fortunately, despite appearances, dude here actually isn't a rapist, and he even shows some Meadowbrook's old journals or whatever, and Buttershush is like, dude, Twilight, oh yeah, so check it out. There's like these bees, right? And they're immune to bees. swamp aids, so their honey is the cure. <laughs> yeah. Because like, you know, when someone's swamp immune aids. to a disease, the liquids that come out of their body cure that disease. And so I was like, dude, like, fucking... I don't know that's how that works. So then Fluttersh tries to go and get some of the honey, but apparently these little fuckers don't respond to any of her animal charming powers, which actually makes sense, because if they did, then the episode would be five minutes shorter. And she's like... No, not the bears! Yeah. Not the bears! Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Yellow Quiet racks the fuck out and wakes up three days later, and Twigger's just like, Jeez, Fluttershy, you really needed some rest. I know you want to help Sakura, yeah, but zombies. you can't take care of other people if you don't take care of Twilight, your what the fuck? Sakura's dying, and now I am too, but it's like you don't even give a shit. The lesson you keep trying to teach me would make sense in a lot of situations, but when you're trying to save your friend's life, or your own for that matter, you gotta, you know, kind of yeah, push makes, yourself makes a sense. little. Like, Swamp it, it's kill uh, Yeah, basically. Holy shit, man. I didn't catch that part. Look, I'll fix this shit right now. So, Twilight murders all the bees, takes their honey, cures Fluttershy, and they both go home and give some to Zakora, and everything's fine. And Zakora's like, dude, check it out. Not only did you cure my swamp aids, but my OCD's gone too. I don't have to rhyme anymore. And Butterball's all, well, that makes sense. Because bees right. are immune to OCD. Oh, yeah, no, this all makes hella fucking sense. Yeah, of course it does. Call the cops when you see Tupac. Who shot me, but your pumps didn't finish. Now you're about to feel the wrath of a menace, nigga. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Alright, see you guys in the outro. That was, uh, <clears throat> that was very fun. Um, like I said, I love DWK stuff. Uh, some of it can be really insane, sometimes cringy, sometimes it's hilarious. Swamp Aids um, is good.
gonna use that. I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that down. That's fucking great. Um, yeah, that was uh, pretty fun. Uh, again, I can agree with him on that point where, like on uh, Daring Dunn or Kelly Zodo, I think it's his name. That's the other villain. What's his name? Fuck, I forgot. Maybe I, I just get all get those two confused a lot. But wearing that kind of hood reminds me kind of uh, the old uh, like Superman and He-Man, where basically they just always change one appearance and no one fucking knows who they are, even though they can see their face. I think it's the same thing with like AK and in doing because you can definitely see their face. But again, in this world, everyone has kind of weird colors. But I think that the white is a uh, kind of a more rare instance of it, and that is probably this what's going on with that that they don't know person even though they can understand the voice it's just a weird thing that cartoons do so they can have another character in place of another character it's weird but uh yeah these are all great he's a fucking hilarious guy check out the original video in the description below uh i mean i usually leave the channel to so check out his channel in the description below and see you guys in the next reaction peace the fuck out and Bye. Put all of you into a castle full of a thousand chests. And one of the chests contains an item required for you to continue the quest. And all of the other unopened containers are mimics and traps. So you'll have to open them all to recover the item, which is a map that will lead you into a complex dungeon with enough gold to make the whole team rich. rich. But you better be ready to go to battle with a demon lord and a lich.